Boom. What up? Solar Renekton only here. Back to some more League of Legends action. Playing some Kenshi Kench up in the top lane. Uh, plan here is to go for one of these max HP builds. So we're going to get our Mythic. Then we're going to go Titanic, Demonic, Warmogs. Titanic, obviously, is going to give us stacking. Or it's going to give us... Uh, basically, both the Titanic and the Demonic give you another ratio. So you can turn that health into damage. So with the Demonic, you turn health into additional AP. And with the Titanic, you turn health into additional attack damage and additional on-hit damage. So it should be a pretty nice setup. Then obviously, we'll get like a Mythic. Probably going to be the Frostfire Fist thing, whatever it's called. Frozen Gauntlet. I don't know. It's been like six different items. Ooh. Yeah, it's close. A flash auto isn't going to kill him. I got my potion ticking. Maybe got a little bit more damage off of that. We'll take it though. Not too bad. Ooh, baby. I think if I do it from Fog of War, I could kill him. W from Fog. Because I didn't see the start of my animation, which kind of hides it a little bit. Ooh, nice. Oh. Almost nice. Let's get a ward down before this wave crashes in. Kind of overextended here. Not even kind of, I'm definitely overextended. I really gotta get the wave shoved on the tower ASAP. He just warded here. But he did it like over this wall. We should be okay. Oh, now we gotta go. Uh, I can stand like here. I'm still in the EXP range of these minions and I won't die to this guy. Just kind of, you know, burning up this time. Oh, you don't want to tank that up. You just use Q. Oh no, he did it super fast. What? It's alright, we get bot side. Can I kill the these guys? Oh, I can. Cool. I wasn't sure. Uh, this wave's gonna slow push out to me. I can actually leave his ghouls up, so it just keeps pushing the wave faster. Because I know his jungler's top side, and I know my jungler's bot side, obviously. So that means I should probably play a little safer. I want the wave to push to me. It already is. Whenever you see an even minion, so three against three. Whatever side of the map it's on, so split the lane in half, it's on his side, it's going to push. Because these three die, these three live, and then now it's not even, <laughs> you know. Now there's a lot more red minions. Ooh. It's not terrible. Definitely want to hit that grass proc that I've not been doing for a little bit. <laughs> and i got to trim some of these minions. Oh, back in this bush. Oops. It's okay to auto and then walk back in, but you have to be out of the bush when you auto attack. Otherwise, it's just going to see you when you go back in. You just keep getting hit. So I want to trim this a little bit. For whatever reason, he's not like up here pushing the wave in, pressuring me. I don't know if he left. I honestly should have just been non-stop hitting. This wave is so stacked up. I can still freeze it outside tower. I'll use E shield here. And we kind of just want to non-stop hit. Ideally, we want four extra minions. That's like the magic number. So he didn't back. He sat in that bush over there, which is definitely not correct. What you want to do here is you want to use the fact that you have all these minions. doesn't mean you have to fight me, but you want to try and use the fact that there's so many minions here that I can't fight you. Like, look, if I'm standing here, look how much damage I'm going to take. <laughs> what was that, two seconds and I took... 200 damage, you know, it's like 100 damage a second from taking all this So when I say like ride the wave into tower, this is kind of what I'm talking about You take this giant wave here and you use it to help force it into tower Like use the pressure of the wave the fact that I can't just start fighting you Because if you do what he's doing right now, it's just a really really bad idea because I can just perma freeze this wave And if you're never gonna contest me at all then Oops yeah, I'm just going to keep the wave here. This is very ideal for me. I think he's afraid of maybe jungle. Which is possible at this point, you know, but... Still, it's a very good spot. Well, that was awkward. I mean, I could have ate him, but I kind of wanted... I don't know. That was dumb, I guess. I figured Shaco would be able to like 
do damage. So I didn't want to eat him because then he's not targetable. It's awkward. Oh, that's bad. I'm going to be up like a million CS though. I do have to back here somehow. It's kind of difficult. I've actually been trying to clear this wave the entire time. <laughs> it's uh, not the easiest thing to do. It's quite stacked up. That's what I'm saying. Like, he, I can't, sh I don't have wave control. Like, I, just, I can't deal with a wave that has like 20 minions. So use that to your advantage and push the wave into tower. Because once, because the whole reason why you want to get into tower, because once it shoves into tower, no matter what you do, it's going to bounce back. It's either going to be an even wave and it completely resets, where it's just like the first wave of the game, everything's all even, right? Or it's going to create a wave that's going to slow push back to him. And then he could be the guy who's freezing the wave at his tower and playing defensive and uh, avoiding jungle pressure and stuff like that. And that's kind of the situation he's in right now, because I just started pushing it, because I need to get out of here. Basically, I've just been staying until I get forced out of lane by him. Then I'm just going to back and TP. So we're going to get this first. And then we're going to go into our Titanic and Demonic. Boots are solid as well. Uh, I'm going to wait until 92. You can do 91, but at 92 we'll be able to have 300 gold by the time we finish our TP. Then we just spam right click this. Boom. One gold to spare. Oops. So we're just going to let this wave crash in a tower. It's fine with me. Obviously, like I said before, I don't have the wave control to uh, go out there and fight him or anything. Am I really that fat? Holy shit. Am I fully, like, can I not move inside the circle? Normally you can, like, move forward, and that was what I was trying to do, because your ult range is actually quite far, and that wall isn't, like, preventing my ult to hit him. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I just didn't click correctly. Like, I clicked the auto attack, and my auto range is huge, so it didn't move me at all. Ooh. I feel like this is pretty good. One auto before I R. Maybe I spit him away from. Nah, it doesn't matter actually. I was gonna say, maybe I spit him away from the Maiden, but I just don't think it matters. The Maiden would still be able to hit me. It's not like I'm gonna get away from her. She's actually quite fast, movement speed wise. Ooh. Do you remember when I talked about all those minions? It's kind of what I mean. Like, I forced the wave in. He wants to sit here and tank it. He can try. The wave's going under tower. That's annoying. Maybe he's going to go forward. He ease forward. Alright, guys. That was cool. I'm a tank, by the way. If you didn't realize, I'm Tom Kench. It's like the unkillable guy in top lane. That's me. Hello. <laughs> Good try. Alright. Little annoying that we can't actually finish. I think I just grabbed one of these then. Oh, I should TLDR. Some people don't even know what TLDR means. It means too long didn't read. It's like when someone writes a giant paragraph or like an essay and then you're just like, alright, what's the bullet points? So the bullet points, how this champ works. Passive. Every time you auto attack, you apply a stack. Stacks go off of uh, your HP and level. So right now I do 52 damage each auto. I have three stacks. You can press your Q and stun people. Or you can press your R and eat people. Otherwise you can use your R and your teammates. And it'll give them a shield afterwards. And it does a bunch of damage to enemies when you eat them. It's like a ridiculous amount of max HP damage. W, pick a spot after a little bit of time. You pop up there. Then E is a shield. You get a gray health bar as you take damage. Press E, get a shield. Q also slows. Not too bad. He walks up. You can definitely look to do something here. 
I'm feeling quite strong. They were a huge uh, advantage. Our whole advantage really stems from him giving up those waves. He gave up like three waves that he shouldn't have given up. It was, I think it might have been four. Oh, dude. That's <laughs> I was so mad. The stupid ass ghoul blocked my damn Q. Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever. I could have done it slightly earlier. I think I could have hit it. My bad. That's annoying that I flashed so late. If I was gonna flash, just flash. I was like still thinking about the ghoul being annoying instead of just flash R'ing the guy. Oh, no, I'd have to flash auto R. No, 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 I had three stack. That's what I was keen. Yeah, I could have flashed Arden if I did it fast enough before he did it. Whoops. Try to shove this ASAP. Ooh, what a dodge. That's clean. Nice. Oops. There we go. There we go. By the way, if he queued this guy, he literally would have killed him. Oh my god, Chico. Careful, bro. <laughs> Jesus. He could have just queued and killed you when he got out of that fear. Oh, whoops. Ooh, bot lane with the pop off. Noise. Oh. I slap, bro. This guy has mythic finish, but Tom Kench is just kind of ridiculous, huh? I stopped playing this champ because he's like really boring. <laughs> I can't. I mean, if you want like free ELO, like definitely play Tom Kench in, in top lane because he's just still ridiculous. It's very straightforward to play and just completely ridiculous. And when I say that, I mean like stat wise. Like it's very easy to do what he's going to do. And then stat wise, you're just like a. They have to really outplay you, and it's kind of unlikely. Cause he chonky. All right, let's grab this. This. Let's go. W back. Sweet. Yeah, man. Kench is strong. I literally had uh, just boots and like this, <laughs> and I killed the guy with mythic, and he had red smite too, with red buff as well. I mean, I have level advantage, but still, it's kind of. Uh... <laughs> Just shows you how ridiculous of a stat check this champion is. But yeah, I think it's because he's relatively boring. That's why people don't play him as much. He only has like 1.8, uh, 1.9, I was looking at this morning, percent play rate. But he's got like uh, top three win rate, like 52.5%. And he's had that for a long time. So it is kind of interesting. Really good stuff that doesn't get played a lot. But it's not like uh, Quinn, whereas if you look at Quinn's win rate and stuff, she always has really high win rate because it's like Quinn one tricks that player and that's it. Like no random people are just playing Quinn. Oh, I was going to say, this could be good or if I miss it could be really bad. Huge. Pull him this way. You here? Start walking away as I do that W or a Q rather. Oh, nice. Yeah, we played that fairly well. That first E dodge is really the important thing. Otherwise, we get slowed and it is not fun. Slowed and everything starts attacking us. Which is definitely not ideal. Oh my god, let me through, bro. What the hell? <laughs> that minion was pulling me so far. Uh, the jungle's obviously up here. Oh. Man, if I just didn't W and I just pressed fucking E, I would have been fine. 
Oh my God, I forgot how ridiculous this cooldown is. Two and a half seconds, man. It was literally back. I was like panic Wing away and I could just press E and been fine. Oof. Dumb. Super easy to play, but you could still be a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. This animation takes too long. I was trying to use it to leave. I think he was going to cue me anyways and follow, but he would have died right away to Mal's. But yeah, I could have just pressed E. I had the shield back. It was all right. Here we go. Should be able to get back in time before the wave crashes. Just, ooh, I think so. I think so. But anyways, so we got this now. Right now it's uh, only a 21 gain in terms of attack damage. Well, 30 from the thing itself, but then just 21 more on top of that. Oh, come on. Hey, let's go. But it's going to keep scaling with the more health that we get, obviously. And we get that cone damage behind everything we hit now. It's real good. Then the item itself has 500 health. Not bad. Passive is doing 76 damage per auto. Okay. Oh no. Ooh, got him. Sweet. I got the other one with the burn. That's exactly what I'd like. Sit back here, trying to hit him with Q. Ooh, got it. Oh baby. I mean, we can't really dive under tower. It's too many things to hit. <laughs> he definitely saw you, bro. You are not sneaky at all. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is coming up in a second. Should probably try and sneak it And dragons in 30. We have them so far pushed in with, uh, with these two towers. So once you kill mid tower, right, and once you kill top tower, like think of it as those areas are no longer protected, right? So once you lose this area, the wave can get shoved all the way to here. So once the wave's shoved into this tower, once the wave's shoved into this tower, then you lose all access to this, realistically. So this whole jungle becomes like a no-go area for you once those towers start going down. If you're behind. If you have an advantage, then, you know, maybe you can still make it work. I actually think that's fine. Ooh. I'm actually going to hit him. Man, I spam right click forward. Oh my god. Yo, kill the thing! That shit drives me nuts, man. That shit drives me nuts. Please kill it. It doesn't die. It's gonna go back and heal it. Instead of having like a 30 second cooldown. We gotta keep kiting. We can turn eventually. If they kept chasing. Keep pushing this. Our team got Dragon off of them, sending three top. Well, I guess it was four. They sent three, and then it was the York as well. Yeah, always kill the Maiden. People always forget to kill the Maiden, and they never help a real or a Lowie with uh, the clone. Those are like the two things I always notice. Always help your Lowie with kill the clone, and always kill the Maiden when you can. When it's like free, don't like you know die to do it. Ah, nice. Try and catch me, but I'm I'm out. Cool. Maybe even cheese this. Or do they know? Is it gonna reset from here? Uh, I have W in three seconds. I should be fine. Sweet. Ooh, if I blast this. Here. Cool. That works for me. Take all their stuffs. I'll walk here and grab this wave too. Oops. Should work. Nice. I'm 
weird. <laughs> what a weird fight. I'll take it though. No! Let me buy it. Can you buy it after the game ends? <laughs> Let's find out. Did I purchase it? I have the gold for it. Dude, Tom Kench is just not a fair champion. Just not a fair champion at all. Yeah. I haven't even played him in a while. It's just you pick him up instantly. He's just not a fair champion. The guy also wave controlled uh, poorly. Just remember, like when you have a giant wave in the early game, it's a lot of damage, especially against someone who doesn't have wave control. Like if I don't have AOE abilities to clear the wave, just like walk up and don't die. All you have to do is like push the wave slowly. Like the, the minions are gonna be pushing fast. So I have to nonstop hit the wave to, to counteract that pushing force. So if I do anything other than hitting the wave, it's bad, right? So what can you do? You can hit me. If I hit you, I'm not hitting the wave, it's bad. If I if you walk at me and I get afraid and I walk away and I stop hitting the wave for any amount of time, it's bad. You know, if you hit the wave, my wave, and kill it faster, again, it's bad for me. All three of those things stop me from being able to hold and freeze that wave. And at level three, four, five, like you have to shove those in a tower. You don't just sit back and wait. Like if you have no HP, then go back to base, come back and do it. But if you're missing like 150 health, you just gotta man up, push the wave in a tower. But yeah, anyways, GG well played. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you're watching over on YouTube, like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over the live stream, follow the live stream. GG well played. Thanks for watching. Peace.